so this is the background for the wood grain design that I'm going to do and I realized later that I did not record this part and that some people might actually want to see it so I am going to do it to another painting and then while this one is drying I can show you the wood grain technique on this and then the wonderful family quote that I'm going to put on the top of it so I'm going to show you how I did it right now okay to start off I start off with my gray blue sorry my gray blue these are all leftover paints um, I use a little bit of black this is my sand color that I use on my beach pores and then I might add a little bit of this um, light gray blue too so um, it's just I basically make a mess <laughs> Oh, and that is the wrong color. That is blue, which is actually okay to have a little bit on there. That'll be fine. In fact, to have a little bit of a darker color in the background will be fine. So I believe this is the gray that I was working with. Yep, this is it. I got this at my dollar store. This is just a metal spatula. I like any kind, anything that has a bent, a bend to it. Um, maybe it's my having a bad wrist. I don't know. It just, I like something that has a bend, so I, I don't have to hold it. it. It can be flat without this handle touching the canvas at the same time. all I need to do and then I will let this dry and when it dries I will come back and I will do the wood grain technique over it okay I am ready to do the wood grain part of this um, as you can see I have here I have a little Rubbermaid bowl and I have a terry cloth uh, face cloth in here that I cut up this is what I do every time I scrape across to make the wood grain. I take it and I wipe it in here and this the terry cloth material helps get into the grooves and then I wipe off the excess water and I'm ready for the next wipe. My mixture is my own. Everybody does this differently. I learned this from Sherry Moulton Art and she does it with a glazing liquid. I don't have any glazing. Um, it's either a gel or a gloss, I'm not sure. So I made my own. I use this, I mean literally like probably four drops of this varnish. I have a little bit of silver by Deco Art. I have a little bit of this gray blue that was used as the base of this. And then I have my titanium white by Amsterdam. So this is not a pouring consistency. This is more of a uh, paint that is just a little bit um, messy. It's not, it, you definitely wouldn't pour with this texture. So, and this is what works for me. So I will show you how I do this. I'm going to start with this smaller um, wood tool instead of the bigger one. And then I will do the next one will be big. So this is what I do. I take I take the paint and I just go across Now 
now hopefully if my mixture is right you'll still be able to see um, underneath after I swipe it so this is how I start I start from one end and I rock the tool and then go back and I will do this several times if I don't like the way it looks I'm okay with that one for the first one and then I'm gonna wipe it off um, don't leave the paint on this tool because let me tell you it you're gonna take a scouring pad to get that paint off in the grooves trust me I've had to do it so now I used to have two of these I have no idea what happened to the other one so now I'm going to try it with the, now I'm going to do a bigger version of it, a bigger piece of wood for the next one. And this mixture might actually be a little bit too thick, so I might have to water it down a little bit. We'll see how it goes. So sometimes you can start in the middle and then rock back and forth. It just depends on um, what the pattern of the previous one was. Oh, I like that a lot. So you can still see the wood underneath it. So I'll probably be doing this one over again. I will redo these, these slats of wood like three times each. It doesn't matter until I get the look I want. This one is a little bit different um, design. I will show you what this one looks like at the bottom. See what I mean about the different wood look of this one? And I'm not gonna use it, so I'm gonna fix that one. I'm going to try wetting this one since this is the one that I just did so I can go over it again and try wetting it so I can pull up the um, design. It dries pretty quick because it's not as liquid as it was and it, there's not as much flow troll in there so I'll try this again. much better you can see how some of the dark part that I did before came through now this part has already started to dry and I don't like it so I'm gonna try to fix it right now and what you can also do is is you can go in and you can try to do a defined line like the wood had would have if it was boards together you can do that obviously it didn't work <laughs> But you can do that, um, you can go in with a palette knife or um, a stir stick like I did. I just used a wet cloth to take off um, the first try and I have to tell you so this got left behind and I'm gonna leave it there because it kind of adds to the texture of what wood would be so I am deciding whether I'm not whether I'm gonna put more varnish in my mixture like I said I have not done this in a long time I am putting a quote over this so it does not have to be perfect.
All right, for now I'm gonna leave this the way it is. I'm not crazy about this area right here. I really like this area, I think that's really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work on on the side on the size and the detail of that all right so for the sides this would follow the wood grain that way so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the teeth part up here and I'm gonna make lines And I can even use the teeth from the bigger one too. So now for the sides, for this part, I am just going to do, I will try to do it in the camera so you can see it. I will just do a little bit and I will make the lines go this way. as if you're looking at the side of the wood. Oh, I like that better yeah I definitely like that better I might even go through and add a little bit of a darker gray to show more definition between them but for now I'm gonna leave this alone um, and I will come back and I might do a dark wash over the whole thing and see what that looks like so not done with this yet when I realized that my father's birthday was coming up I decided not to do the family quote on the top. Instead, I wanted to do a sign just for him. And I'm showing you the Cricut Design screen, the cutout vinyl sticker, and uh, how I put it down on the canvas, and then taped all around it, and then I spray painted it, and here's the final result. It came out better than I thought it would. I'm glad I didn't go in and do a darker wash over the wood grain because I think it would have been harder to see the design and the words. So um, I'm going to do more of these, especially as gifts for people. This was a fun project, even though I started over. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks.